Welcome back, everybody. Doll is here, coming to you on Super Bowl Sunday. Crazy how fast the time's gone. Can't wait to see my Patriots mess up the Rams today. Hoping for a good game overall. So, um, but before I start getting ready for the, my party and all we're having, having some folks over here, I uh, this came in the mail last night, and there was absolutely no way I was letting this go uh, without opening it through the week. This is my PSA returns. Uh, I did a video a couple weeks ago uh, with about 24 cards. Um, a mix of like all the way from Fossil to Breakthrough. Um, could definitely hoping for a couple of 10s in this set. So um, without further ado, why don't we just open it up and uh, get going. Alright guys, I'm back here. Uh, got that box open. Uh, PSA does an amazing job sealing itself so I didn't want to waste time on the video opening it. But you'll see, we have two boxes this time and... A quantity 21 so we got 21 total cards um, I'm thinking this is gonna be a two-parter uh, my very first two-part video how exciting because um, I want to take a, a couple seconds and talk about each card just before I you know I just crack it and show you the the grade um, I will do my very best to link the price right down here um, you know the PSA cards are they're so volatile with their their price unless it's like one of the real collectible ones it's really just, you know, you get what, you know, if you decide to sell them, it's really just what someone else will pay for it. Um, but I'll try and find the cards on eBay and just kind of average, get the mean price that I can find. Um, so I will do my best on that. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just hop right in here. Um, let's open the big box first and we'll say this box we'll, we'll open in a second video. Uh, we'll do, we'll probably try and do like 10 and 11. So let's. Pop this open and try and and see which side that they're they're on. This is the front, so this is the back here. So let me just try and grab like ten cards out of here. Oh boy! And I'm really excited about this. There's definitely going to be some some good cards in here. This is the back. Yep. And this is 100% Pokemon. These are all Pokemon. So let me do two, four. Oh, I lost count there. I think this is about ten right here. Yep. We had 18, so that's 10 and nine. So we'll put these over here out of the next video. Okay. All right, everyone. I'm pumped. I don't know about you, but my excitement is palpable at this point. All right. So let's cover up the grade. All right. Here we are. That Lapras EX from Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I picked this up at a card shop in Savannah, Georgia on my last vacation. So let's just take a quick look at it. It's tough to tell the centering because they have this thick part down here. But I think it's a little off-center, top to bottom. I think this is supposed to be about the thickness of that. So I think it's a little off-center. Um, the back. The back looks pretty clean. I remember thinking this was going to be about a 9. So, 8. Alright, okay. Alright, that's fine. We'll take an 8. That's pretty solid. Beautiful card. I know I have two of these, so let's put that down. 8. Um, what's the next card? Oh, there it is. The second one. And I know I thought one was better than the other. I think this is the better one. You can see the center in here is definitely better. It's more uniform around. It might even be shifted down a little bit. That's okay. Um, let's look at the back. Corners look pretty solid. A little nick in the back right there. A little nick on the top. So You know what? I'm going to say this one's also an 8. Yep. Okay. So we got two PSA 8 Lapras EX. Pretty solid. You know, an 8 is, is still near mint. So that's fine. What do we got here? Okay. Um, this also was bought at that card shop down in uh, Georgia, in Savannah. Um, I really don't remember what I thought this would get. Uh, let's look at the front. I mean, the, the front looks pretty solid. I mean, the centering on this one looks actually pretty good. Um, 2004. Check that out. Fif 15 years old. Um, I mean, the front looks good. It's tough to tell scratches now that it's cased. Um, the back looks pretty solid. I know I don't have much light coming down here. Maybe I'll go turn on a light so we can see a little better after this card. I'll pause the video real quick. Um, but the back looks pretty good too, man. I mean, I know this card wasn't perfect. We're going to go nine. Hey, all right. That's awesome. PSA nine mint. That's legit. Awesome. Awesome card. Okay. Moving right along. What do we got? Okay, a Garchomp Level X promo. Um, promos aren't worth that much, um, you know, because they're not, they're, you don't pull them out of packs, they're easy to find. Um, 
This again, this is from the same card shop from Georgia. I know I had a whole bunch of card shops from that, uh, cards from that card shop in Georgia. So we'll, uh, we're gonna be seeing that for a while. It looks like I pulled up right at that point. Um, front looks good, centering again looks pretty solid. Uh, you know, I can't tell if there's any scratches on the front. I'm trying to get some light there, you know. Can't really, no scratches, it looks pretty solid. Let's look at the back. Back looks real good. No scratches, you know, has a little protector. You know, it can't see anything in the corners. Nope, there is something, a little something in the corner there. So I'm gonna go a nine. Oh, all right, okay. We'll take an eight. We'll take an eight. Eight is okay. PSA eight Garchomp. You know, these cards I don't think are worth that much. Maybe, maybe 20, 25, 30 bucks. That's okay. All right, moving on to some old cards. Zapdos, this was from my personal collection. So God knows what condition it's in. You know, the Holofoil looks real solid. Real solid. The centering is pretty, pretty spot on. The back, a little nick in the corner. You know, I think, so if you can see that, let me get, see that little nick. That might even be excusable. Um, I don't know if that would drop it. I know this isn't going to get a 10, so we'll go 9. Ooh! Ooh! That hurts, PSA. 8. That hurts. What the hell? Why did this get an 8? Maybe the centering is a little worse than I thought. Maybe there's a little more on the bottom than the top. What's wrong with the back? I, w I, I said, I've said it before. I wish they would give a little explanation. Maybe it is just the two little nicks in the corner. Centering on the back it looks pretty decent. I don't know. Whatever. This card is a ten. Might be even, might be worth a hundred dollars. So eight's probably not worth anything. Nor is a nine. But cool to have. But looks like I'm just an eight master. Um, we got now. All right. Dark Charizard. Team Rocket. I know these cards were in pretty rough shape. Definitely nowhere near nines. Definitely not ten. Probably not even nine. Seven or eight on these guys. Um, see the centering's all fucked up. Um, bottom, top, sides, not that great. Um, same shit on the back. So whatever. So we're gonna actually we're gonna go seven. Whoa! What? Nine? I mean, hell, I'll take it. I guess the centering is the only thing that's messed up. Yeah, I mean the corners look pretty good. Corners look pretty solid. I'm terrible at guessing this guy. <laughs> um, but hey, all right, Dark Charizard, PSA 9. You know, if you were first edition, that'd be pretty solid. But unlimited, unlimited print, that's okay. Charizard Hollow and PSA 9. We're going to take it. I think I had two of those. Nope. All right, here we go. Some Gym Challenge, or Gym Heroes, excuse me. Rockets Moltres, first edition for my personal collection. Let's see if we can get that light back here. Holofoil looked real solid when I sent it. Still does. You know, the centering looks really good. Centering looks really good. Any screw ups on the edges? Edges look good. The card is flat. Obviously, it's stuck in a container. Nice job, dollars. Um, back looks really good, except the top here. There's a little whiting up here. That's enough to take it away from a 10 for sure. So we're going to go 9. 7. I don't get it. Maybe someone who's watching this can comment in the bottom here and tell me what I'm missing. A 7 seems like a pretty rough score for this guy. Let me take it out of camera for a second. Seven seems really rough for this. I don't know. I mean, it definitely has the whiting on the top. But, man, there's little spots on the side. Seven? That's bullshit. Let's see, hold on, let me try and get See, there's a little speck on the side, speck on the side down here. The, whole, the top is a little messed up. You can't really see. Top's a little messed up. But, I mean, all right. This is what it is. I mean, you can always get it regraded, but whatever. I mean, at this point, who cares? Just keep it. All right, I know I had a Blaine's Moltres. There it is. Blaine's Moltres, first edition. I don't care about this one as much. I really hope this one gets a higher score. Um, I know it won't because I'm terrible at telling at this point. I can never tell, but let's do a little uh, examination. Centering is, is decent. Not perfect, but decent. I don't know what this spec is. I don't think that's on the card. I think that's dirt from the case. Because I definitely don't remember having dirt, and again, I don't. Unless that's it is a a mal not a malfunction. Uh, unless that is something on the card, it, it won't take away. Um, a little something in the corner, bottom corner. Um, maybe the top. I, I don't know. We're gonna go eight. All right, eight. Not bad. Rock Blaine's Moltres. This is something I'm gonna keep. I just love the art. I don't care if it's an eight. I don't have a, a ridiculous collection. I need tens. I don't care. This is an awesome card. I love it. So we're going to keep it. 
All right. Let's move on. I don't know what's next. Okay. First edition, Erica's Venusaur. Again, for my personal collection. Couldn't tell you when where I got it, but whatever. Gym challenge, Erica's Venusaur. Uh, let's see. It looks like Holofoil looks pretty solid. Not eh, A little scratching. little scratching. I think that's what I can't really tell most of the time is the scratches, but whatever. Who cares in the end of the day? Centering looks pretty good. Let's look at the back. Tough to tell in this light. Sorry, y'all. Um, but the back actually looks really good on this card. You know, there's nothing in the corners. The centering is not perfect. The centering is probably going to drop it down. But I'm going to go... I'm going to go 9. Wow! I am not good at this, folks. That's okay. Erica's Venus or first edition, 8. We're okay with that. Next. Okay. I bought this card. Um... I, I don't know. It wasn't that good when I when I pulled when I picked it up. Um, I bought it online, so you can't really tell. But it didn't look that good. I'm not. I think this is a hollow. Yeah, Charizard hollow. So it's not. A, it's tough to tell. I, first, I thought it was a reverse, but it definitely isn't. It because the border was, so it confused me. But it's definitely not a reverse because the 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 wording here isn't hollow. This is hollow. But anyways, let's continue. A little bump right here. So right away, not a 10. I knew it wasn't a 10, but I'm hoping for an 8, honestly, on this card. Um, the back, oh, the back is real rough. The back's real rough, right? We're going to go 6. 7, okay, okay. 7, not bad. This card, of 10 of this, is worth money. Um, 7, probably not that much. But that's okay. I don't care. I don't mind. A 7, that's an awesome card. I, I may put this up for sale. I may not. I may just keep it. It's a pretty sick card. So, we'll keep that. Alright, well, I'm actually... I'm going to stop the video there. And I'm going to do the rest in another video. So, please definitely stick around for part two. Um, I'll, I'll try and post it uh, again, you know, a day or two after this is posted. Um, but until then, I hope, uh, hope everyone had a, a good time with their Super Bowl party. I know I'm going to enjoy a couple beverages and uh, root for my Patriots, as I mentioned. But... Um, you know, I hope everyone is just having a good time and uh, I'll talk to see everyone in, uh, in a little bit. All right. Peace.